Okay, well, I made another one of these um, LTD type of Stirling engines using a small uh, tin here. I'm not sure what was in it. I just wanted to try and see if it would work. And I went to a much bigger diaphragm uh, uh, drive unit. And then inside here, I'll show you what's inside it here. And I just used a uh, plastic lid for the flywheel. And I, I did this project to really look at this. And this does work much better when you use a larger diameter diaphragm uh, drive um, unit. And uh, this is just a bent paper clip going through a piece of plastic on this thing. But uh, it runs pretty darn good on, on uh, just a coffee maker. This is a... Uh, one of these uh, electric coffee makers so uh, if you don't want to use an open flame and you've got one of these LTDs just differentiate it with ice at the top and use a lower heat rather than a candle or these tea lights that most of the people use uh, and, and keep your temperatures down and you can still get one of these LTD uh, stirlings to run these kitchen countertops because that's what I'm doing. I'm working on my kitchen countertop here making these little projects. And I've been doing a lot of studies on these uh, Stirling engines and I do find them very, very interesting. Let me take it over here. I'll show you some more about this particular one. Um, take the ice off. But if you put the ice in little cups, you don't wreck the Stirling. But what what I've been working on here is what goes inside one of these things and what's the best and what's the simplest way to make one of these um, countertop um, Stirling engines and different flywheels have a great bit of difference on whether you have success or not and this was just a plastic lid off of a yogurt as I recall and that's all you need for your flywheel you notice there's no weights on it or anything the um, Drive units are um, paper clips, but I bought these uh, bicycle spokes, and a lot of the guys are using these bicycle spokes because the, they're straight, they're pretty smooth, they're easy to bend, and you can make your crankshaft better out of one of those bicycle spokes. Now, this was a big thing here. It's a latex glove stretched over a um, jar lid, and then stuck onto the top of that with this two-sided uh, foam tape. This right here is from Myford Boy's idea where you use the tip of a mechanical pencil and you cut it off and you glue that on the top of the Stirling engine that makes a really good bearing for a needle. And you use the needle through this, whatever you want to use for your displacer, crazy glue it and then the needle is a real smooth shaft to run through that mechanical pencil then you use thread or i'm using um, 30 gauge magnet wire to go up to your crankshaft with it but anyway that's just what i've been working on here is uh, a um, small kitchen countertop sterling engine that you can build quickly and have success without weeks of working on it and I just taped the can together with electrical tape. You have to differentiate it with cold on the top or it doesn't run very long. But if you put this in the refrigerator before you start, it'll run for a while just on a cup of hot water. And uh, I found that out too. But that's what I've been up to. I've been working some more on this, uh, what they call LTD Stirling engines. Thanks for watching.